Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to the Best People We Know radio show. This is where you'll meet experts and celebrities who share their success secrets with you to help you be your most successful best, too. Your host, Deb Scott, is a certified professional coach at Discover the Amazing You Coaching and author of the award-winning motivational book, The Sky is Green and the Grass is Blue, Turning Your Upside-Down World Right Side Up. The Best People We Know radio show brings you powerful resources, effective ideas, and transformational tools you can use to educate, inspire, and motivate you to be your most purposeful, peaceful, happy best. So get ready to experience mind vitamins to feed your whole soul. Good change is about to happen. The Best People We Know radio show. Here's your host, Deb Scott. Well, welcome to this very special Friday afternoon show with medical intuitive Jen Ward, founder of Genuine Healing. She's back by popular demand. I see all of you on the switchboards. That you are lit. I see you people. 516-915-843-585-760. Goes on and on. Thank you. We're going to get to all your calls. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Jen. I'm going to tell you how to get in touch with her so that if we don't get to you on the call today or if you want to have a session with her, she's opened up a new store. It's at GenuineHealing.com. Yes. She has celebrity clients, hundreds of dollars for an individual session. But guess what? She's opened up so many different opportunities. Masterminds, individual classes, $27, $100, $200. They're affordable. And I just finished the Mastermind 8-week program with Jen and a lot of other great people. And let me tell you, it really works. It's amazing. She's really a gifted healer. Um, I want to remind you, besides going to GenuineHealing.com and finding the store, um, you can go to my website, DebScott.com, and get the newsletter, Mind Vitamin Monthly News, and you'll get a listing of all of our great guests, and you'll get a heads up on when Jen's here. You can also follow us if you have a blog talk page. Hit the blue button on the left and follow us, and you'll get a heads up when we have guests coming right before the show starts. And I want to also, last but not least, we are sponsoring Authentic Leadership Day again uh, with Sean Duperon. And there's going to be uh, Brian McGill, uh, Jack Canfield, um, a lot of people that are really into authentic leadership. And I know that we all need that. So if you want to register, it's a $10 donation. It supports Project Forgive. Forgiveness is good. And that's at AuthenticLeadershipDay.com. All right, well, let me tell you about Jen if you don't know who she is because you're going to love her. She's a gifted healer. She's really on the cutting edge of energy work. She is unbelievable. She combines a number of revolutionary techniques and practices from around the globe. Now, one of these includes Sangoma, okay, which uses sounds and vocalization with tapping to bring immediate emotional release. And she's going to explain this a little bit more. Her clients include celebrities, a lot of names you would know, executives, professional athletes, and people just like you and me. I'm going to quote something from Jen. So many people are searching for truth. Some may be hesitant to inquire about alternative points of view and fear that they will get caught up in or be endorsing a different belief system than their present one. Yet many people are having experiences that they can't understand. I assist others without asking them to conform to alternative beliefs to get their answers met. I help them discover the answers they need in the comfort zone of their own moral parameters. As an intuitive, clairvoyant, empath, Reiki master, licensed massage therapist, and energy healer, I am actually able to perceive blocked energy in a body and unplug it or release it. The body is a fluid moving river of energy when it's healthy. When there is physical, emotional stress of any kind, it can be dammed up, and this is called dis-ease. There's no reason to feel stuck or overwhelmed, and you We'll have some emotional healing today. It's a pleasure and a privilege to have you back, Jen Ward. Thank you for sharing your shine with us, my friend. Good morning. Hi, Deb. Thanks for having <laughs> me. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. I'm so grateful to be here. I feel everybody, and, <laughs> and it's so wonderful that they're just so open this morning. It's, it feels really good. There's so many mm. loving souls who are tuning in that are already opened up, and I just support in the work that I do because they, they, they want to see a, a a better world, and and this is a gateway to a better world. 
So it's really an exciting time. Well, as as always, those boards are lit up, and there's a lot of regular callers. There's people that have worked with you in the past. Uh, there may be somebody out there, Jen, that's hesitant. I know for myself, when I first um, worked with you, I was a little, like, scared, fearful. I didn't know what was going on. It was so very strange. So I have a lot of compassion for somebody that may be listening today saying, you know, I saw this on Twitter or on Facebook or somebody told me about it. I don't I don't really get it. I don't understand. What's this vocal? What's this voice thing? Can you explain to people a little bit about how, how you work and, and why, why it helps um, them so quickly? Yeah, and I remember the first time I had a um – a long distance phone session with someone and I thought it was ridiculous that it worked. And I was <laughs> even after it worked it was like, No, that's ridiculous. That was nothing. And so I totally get it looking back now. But mm. but the thing is is that you don't have to be looking at someone to feel them. I mean it's so easy to feel someone's emotions or their love or their anger people have um, experiences where someone's mad at them and then they just feel this heaviness from that person. So everyone experiences what I experience. It's only in degrees, and it's only in what they're willing to pay attention to. So Mm. what I do is I feel, because I have this compassion, I don't know, it was inbred or something, I have this ability to just love anybody. I mean, I could... I could love Hitler, I think. But um <laughs> I mean, I mean you can't you, you are all anything. love, I will tell you. You're you're like a, a ray of sunshine, there's no doubt about it. So thank you. So because I can do that, um I can feel what isn't love. Because we all exist in a love soup. So if everything is love, you're only gonna feel the chunks that aren't love. So when someone else is feeling something and angst, and they can't even articulate it. I mean, some of us went through trauma as babies, so we can't articulate where it came from. It just feels like yuck. Mm -hmm. And so what I can do is tune into that person. I don't even have to try at this point. It just comes through, and I feel it like in my own energy field, and then I move it out of my energy field, but because I love them and we commiserate in the same, not in a negative, but just commiserate in the same space, a love and commiserate, I can move it out of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they'll feel it. They'll feel lighter. They'll feel tingly. They'll yawn. They'll cry. So what yes. I'm actually doing, yeah, so I, what I'm actually doing, uh, which is the scary part, is I can convert sound, energy, to sound. So when someone's, like, really in, in emotional pain, but they can't cry or they, they've shoved it so deep inside of themselves that they can't even articulate it, I can bring it up by crying or screaming or anguish or the anger, and I can understand what they're releasing. And then I can read that sound, and I can, like, feed it back to them what they went through, and then it kind of, like, they, it kind of jostles the re- memory, not conscious memory maybe, but it's like, yeah, that feels right. That feels like what I've been mm-hmm. dealing with I didn't even realize. Mm. Yeah, and, and, you know, just to echo that point, because I, I know that myself, I really, I, you know, to think that the sound that, that you're hearing is really a reflection of maybe that inner pain that that uh, that we need to release, it's kind of like, oh, my gosh, that was inside of me? No wonder I was upset. <laughs> it's like, oh, my goodness. But it's amazing how it does free so like you said, it's on maybe on that subconscious level. And for somebody who is not familiar, okay, maybe with the sound, what if they're not familiar with the taps? How do the taps work with this, Jen? The taps, the taps are, are simply tuning into your own possibilities because your brain is basically one big computer. Mm-hmm. Everything you think you do is programming your future. Like, that's why you should never put yourself down, because you're telling your brain that's what you want to manifest. Mm. So when you tap, when your body takes in breath and inhales and exhales, it's scanning the body for what's wrong, and then it's fixing it. But when, 
we have gotten so gummed up with all the dysfunction in this reality that the bodies can't get to everything. So it like mm-hmm. stores things away. So when you, you when you say a statement, like we say a, a tap, and you tap your brain, you're actually telling the brain that this is top priority. Do this first, because you're bringing it to the physical awareness that this is this is what I'm focused on. This is what I want you to release. It's no different than like programming your computer to like be on a certain program. Mm. So mm. you're releasing it. And then when you tap the the chest, it's almost like tapping in your body to set it in there. So it's like it's it's not gonna just it's not gonna like dissipate. It's gonna like like setting your watch the old fashioned watches, you pulled the dial out, you changed the time and then you pushed it back in. Mm. So the chest sets it in the body. So what you have people do, so just so that people understand what's going to happen now, because I'll take the calls, and there are a lot of callers, and thank you, everybody, for calling in so early as well. So I'll I'll let them come on air with the five, uh, whatever their area code is and the first numbers. They'll come on air, and then, you, you know, they'll introduce themselves to you. But they're going to be tapping times on their top of their head and then one time on the chest, right? Well, hopefully all the viewers will do it along with us because everything that comes up is relevant to everybody. So so anybody, okay, at home good point. Wants, anybody at home who wants to do this, whatever statement I tell this person to do, I want you to, like, do it too if you're open to doing it. So I'm going to, like, repeat, I'm going to say a statement. You're going to read it, repeat it three times while continuously tapping on the top of your head. And you're going to say it slow and deliberate. And then you're going to say it a fourth time while tapping on the middle of your chest. And um, they're going to be, they're able to, like, rebroadcast this so they can, like, take it slow. If if they get anxious, there's no reason to get anxious. There's many ways the person sabotages themselves when they start doing the taps. The ego Mm -hmm. won't let them even remember what they are. They'll say them wrong. They'll go too fast. They'll, like, they'll get mad and just not do them at all, or they'll say it's stupid. All these different ways of resisting it. But if they'll just Mm. sit with it and do it, and I post tabs every single day on my Facebook page to help people, and people say their life changing, and they religiously um, do them, even though I don't like to use the word religious in in terms of myself. But they faithfully do the tabs for themselves, and they can feel the difference. Mm. I've seen the difference in people's energy. It's amazing. And and I've experienced this people firsthand myself, and I was one of those people that, you know, the first time I was like, oh, I'm not getting this, and I felt like I ran a marathon, and I wasn't, I wasn't, I was a little skeptical, um, and, you know, with my, my, I guess my religious background, I was like, I'm not really sure about that, but I love how you just gently embrace everybody where they're at, and the healing, when you experience it, you don't have to understand it to enjoy it. There's a lot of things we do in life that we don't understand, including half of the switchboard. I don't understand how it all works, but I know that I enjoy the benefit of of using it and having that resource available. So, I, can I just I'm say one take, thing? Yes. Can I just say one thing? That, that a lot of people are so self-defeating that they won't do things to help themselves because they feel unworthy or they feel like, you know, they couldn't possibly make a difference. But I'm telling you that a way to uplift humanity, if you want this world to be a better place, you unhinge the strings of your own karmic issues. You remove your own stagnant energy, and it does. It uplifts all of humanity. And a lot of the tabs I post are doing them as a surrogate for humanity because we're all connected inwardly. We're all one piece of the same pie or whatever. And so um, so if you do the taps and you can't do them because you don't think you deserve to be better, you want to punish yourself, do them because you love everybody else and you want to see everybody else in your life be bettered for them. Because you make yourself better, everybody else in your life that you love improves, even your dogs and cats. So... They're worth doing for others if you can't do them for yourself. 
Boy, that, is it okay if I show people the noises? Because I want to do a mass release and for everybody who's listening right now so they can get a sense of it. Okay, go ahead. Do you mind? Well, I I wanted to I just I wanted to just can I just say one more? Th- I just want to let people know yeah. because if they like okay. So what I want to let people know right now because you're going to want more of Jen. You've got you can find go to genuine healing j e n u i n e healing dot com. And what I want to direct you to do because her new store is up um, on the right hand side. Click the link that has new stores up on the right. And you'll also see the Facebook page, which I am a member of, and that's where she posts all those taps. But if you go and click the new stores up and you click that link, store.genuinehealing.com, you're going to see a lot of things, and you want to sign up for her newsletter because she'll let you know, is she having a free session? Is she having a group session that's $30? Is she having a mastermind class that's 1500 Is she having some special thing on Tuesday night for grieving and that group is $50? I mean, she. I think the one thing, Jen, is you've made it affordable for everyone, um, so there's really no excuse to not do it. That's the purpose of the group sessions is because I have a lot of people come to me who, like, say I can't afford the sessions. And so $27 is like, you know, it's like a meal at Arby's or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So so if if you can't do that and then if people don't show up to that, then that means that they really don't want the help and that they're just in martyr mode or victim mode and they really don't want to. And then I mm-hmm. offered a free class last week and and the people who said that they really wanted help didn't show up so it just left me tired and drained so without that little commitment on someone's part it's not worth me it's not worth it for me to like carry them along it it, it makes me out to be used or amused or something and it's not like Mm. that you have to have an agreement with the universe and what you receive you can't mm-hmm. keep taking and taking and expect to always have it given to you. We're here to give back. We're here to uplift others. We're here to share love. We're here to share our truth, our purpose, our gifts, our smile, our heart, our tears, our joy, our laughter, our children, our gardens. And if we're not giving and sharing, then why are we here? We, sh- we have to really look at that. That's why the world is in the condition it is, because so many people got out of balance, and they never taught their children to give. They wanted to give everything to their children and compensate for the lives that they had. And now children have learned not to give back. Mm. It used to be ingrained in us to give, and it was like kind of like bred out of us. But it's our innate nature to give. And so when we don't give... It sickens us inside because that's where our life force is in the flow of outflowing and pouring our cup out into everyone else. We mm-hmm. can't be diminished or depleted if we keep doing it out of love and not out of resentment or petty grudges or whatever. Like, oh, I gave mm-hmm. them them and they never appreciated me or, or I let them go in line and they didn't wave and say thank you. That's pettiness. You do it for the universe. You do it because the universe, you want the universe to run smoother, and you want everyone to experience the love that you feel in your heart. Mm. (laughs) Perfect. I needed to hear that apparently. I, I, hey, listen, I'm always the first one to admit I get a lot of benefit out of these shows. I'm like the first one online saying, thank you, Jen. Um, all right, well, I'm going to let you take it from here, how you want to give people an initial uh, experience, a release or whatever, and then I'll start taking callers. The first one I'll take will be the 516742. Okay, so um, I'm going to, like, do the noises, and I'm going to release people's pain. Someone out there is very pain and very much emotional pain, and I just want to cry for them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to, like, Show everybody how it works, okay? So be braced. This isn't comfortable to hear these noises, but this is your own pain coming out of you.
Okay, Doug, there's something that, that you know that happens on the calls that's really embarrassing to me, but it's part of it, is I use sound frequencies of songs to release people. So this song is coming through, and <clears throat> I'm just going to sing a snippet of it, and there shouldn't be any copyright laws because it probably won't sound like the original and they won't know what song it is. But <clears throat> How many times do I have to tell you even when you cry, you're beautiful too. <laughs> all of me loves all of you. <laughs> you're my end and my beginning. Even when I lose, I'm winning. I give you all. You give me all of you. That's kind of what it takes to be a healer. You got to put your ego on the line and just do everything that you're compelled to do to uplift someone, even if it's uncomfortable for you. And that's not easy to to sing when you're not a singer, but the sound frequency and the intention behind it is very pure. <laughs> yeah, many people are asking how. How do they do more? And it's as simple as that, to be vulnerable. It's okay to be vulnerable. You're not going to be pulled out of your house and tortured this lifetime. You're safe to be vulnerable and to... Let that dynamic part of you come out. <laughs> so many people are starving to recognize their gifts and to be acknowledged for their gifts. <laughs> I would think if there's one sin in the world, if there's one sin in the world, the only one there could be is to not share your gifts. Because in your gifts is all the blessings that you possibly could outflow. It's without giving your gifts, that's how the flow of love constricts from you. So the more you give your gifts, the more you open up to that flow. And the more you encourage other people to give their gifts. <laughs> Not in a competitive nature. We don't need to compete with anybody anymore. We don't need to be the best. Everybody needs to be the best. We do it together because we feel what other people feel. For many of us, it's harder to feel someone else's pain than our own. So in that way, it's easy to feel someone else's joy as our own. That's the heart set that we need to get to, is being happy for everyone. <laughs> So people are releasing. Someone or a few people are releasing. They're tight in the hip, in the right joint of the hip, and that's loosening up now finally. There's a few stubborn people on the call, and they're <laughs> a couple of them think I'm stupid. That's okay. <laughs> I've been called worse. <laughs> Oh, and they feel bad that they think it's stupid because they want to understand and they want to feel it and they don't want to be separated by their opinions. Mm. So, Doug, is it okay if we do a, a, a tap for everyone using you to do it? Oh, my goodness. Okay, sure. Okay. Part of vulnerability, right? Yes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so I'm going to give you something to say, and everyone's going to say it along with you. And you're going to say it three times. We'll tap it on the top of your head, and you're going to <laughs> say it. This is a good one. I feel sad in this one. And you're going to say it a fourth time and tap the your chest continuously. <laughs> and everybody else will get a benefit out of this along with me. They so already they're saying are. It with they're me, already but... ready. Yeah. Okay. 
because they're doing it at home. Okay. I release being separated from humanity by my opinions in all moments. I release being separated from humanity by my opinions in all moments. I release being <laughs> separated <laughs> by from humanity from humanity by, by my, my opin- opinion. opinions in all lifetimes in all moments in all moments <laughs> I release See, some people only believe in one lifetime so you don't want to offend their beliefs so it's in all moments Well I have I a believe- hard time with that Yes. Okay. So let me keep going. Oh, and, and you shouldn't I, have a hard time with all moments. No, I don't have with all moments. But for somebody but you're the that one doesn't, in all lifetimes, not me. <laughs> I know, but can you believe it? Is that? <laughs> I don't even believe in past lives. <laughs> I see them, oh. so I believe. I see I them all That's... the time. I read them like I read them like you see an outfit on somebody. So. Oh my gosh. It's okay, all good. people, okay. I wait and do this. All right, so that so let me do it again. I feed it to I me release, here because I release being separated from humanity. I release being separated from humanity by my opinions. By my opinion. <laughs> in all moments. In all moments. I release being separated from humanity. I release being separated from humanity by my by opinions. my by my opinions. In all, moments. in all moments. Like you you like to watch your energy change. You shouldn't do that, but you like to watch your energy change as you do it. And it's like it slows it down. Okay. <laughs> now just do it on your chest now. I release being separated from humanity by my opinions in all moments. I release being separated from humanity by my opinions in all moments. <laughs> So there's two things that make my tabs really powerful, besides the fact that they were given to me by my spirit guides and I had had no training in it except for what my spirit guides gave me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that I read Akashic Records, so I go back into my clients' first lifetimes. And if you don't believe in past lifetimes, you can think of it, I just went into their genetic heritage. So I went into their ancestors, if you don't believe in past lives. I'm not asking you to believe in it. You don't, it doesn't matter to me if you do or not. So so I go back into the very core issue where it started lifetimes or, or generations ago. Mm-hmm. And I see the image very clearly. And then I give them the tabs to release from that perspective. Because in metaphysical terms, everything that we've ever experienced is happening all at once. So when we say in all moments, we're not just doing it for the Joe Schmo who's in the physical body. We're doing it for the Joe Schmo and all his experiences ever. So what it does is it takes all those experiences that we've ever done, it gathers them up and scoops them up and brings them together into the moment. And that's what mastership is, is bringing all your experiences into the moment. And usually it has to be done at a very slow pace by by feeling it over and over and getting so tired of these lifetimes that you choose to do it differently. Mm-hmm. So so doing the task is like an easy pass to doing to the living life and to being a spiritual master. Okay. Do you want to take a call? <laughs> yes. Okay. So five one six seven four two. Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Ida. I'm on the first call again. <laughs> I hi, just, Ida. Hi. I just wanted to be, in, you know, in your energy and just to say how great you are and I love you. <laughs> and oh, just love- to be a part and supportive. So, Ida, you do the group sessions, so can you tell people a little bit about what you Ab- receive from doing those? Absolutely. First of all, the group sessions is a group of just you, you, you connect with just loving energy. And, and Jen um, guides you through these taps that shift. And, so, you know, when you do these taps, you just you breathe in, you breathe out, and you just can feel something lift or you just, 
it, it's it's also I feel emotional. So it's just a connection to like a greater awareness, and it just there's just so much that goes on. <laughs> But I I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I can't I can't wait for all of them. <laughs> so yeah, it's really great because we don't sit around and talk because I perceive an energy, so I don't have to listen to everybody's issues, and I I don't. Right, Ida? I don't listen right, to people. Right, right. <laughs> so there's no one there's no one stealing the show or taking over the the group. They're all just like doing their tasks, and releasing, and all that's left is love. And by the end of the hour. It sounds like um, the, the Walton's house at night. Everyone's saying <laughs> they're all sudden in love to each other. It's really fun. I love you. <laughs> and it's I so love you. beautiful. Love you. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. And and the song that you just did, I was in such tears. I was like, okay, connecting again. <laughs> oh, sad. I'm glad I am glad. Yeah, thank you. I, I just, oh. you know, I just wanted to be a part of this. And in your yes. energy. Thank you. And thank you so much for all your enthusiasm. It really oh. helps me. It feeds me so I can help more people. It really does. <sighs> see, see, feel it, everybody, that love. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ida. And I, I know because you've been, you're in the best people we know club, too. That's it's, I feel the love. I've been uh, in. I've been in. I've been in the mastermind with you, Eden. So yes, I know yes, exactly. Deb. Yes. Yay, Deb! I love yes. you. I love you. Thank you. I'm listening in. I'm listening in. I'm okay. going to continue to listen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ida. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, honey. Oh, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Yes. Okay. So four one five seven five eight. You're on the air. Four one five seven five eight. Yeah, hi, this is Jessica. Um, I was wondering if I could have some healing around um, my relationship with my mom. I, I think she might wait, be a wait, little Wait, 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 you have to tell me yeah. more. I feel it. Let me tell you. Okay. okay? Yes. <laughs> it's almost like it's... It, it permeates everything you do, and you don't even, you can't even feel comfortable in, in expressing yourself because it's this bomb. It feels like um, being in a real hot climate, humid climate, and it's always with you. And it, am I am I correct? Yeah, yeah. And now, can I tell? Uh, yeah. No, I'm no, no, no. Something. Okay. She she seems to like put her opinions on you, and she doesn't approve of stuff in you, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Mhm. So. <laughs> is there something? I know you're tra- you you're hell bent on you wanted to share something. Can you make it really quick? Because I don't want to like dump on all the viewers, but we yeah. want to get rid of this for you. I know well, you're passionate. I- in it. Well, I just I put I, an energy, I, but you want to say it, so. Well, I feel like I've moved past. I mean, I've been living in in my parents' house, and I feel like I'm over this, you know. But she yeah. just goes into like a rage of like, get out of the hey, house, and I'm working on it. Okay, stop. You're just dumping now. We we already okay. got what the issue is. Okay. <laughs> See, when you go into describing, and I'm 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 being hard on you just because you can handle it, and it's going to help you release anyways. But when you just describe her rage, you're having everybody relive it. That's why I don't go into details and stuff. She is very angry, but it's not from all this lifetime because you don't warrant this. Um, are you on my Facebook page, Jessica? I am, Jennifer. yeah. So have you done the energetic divorce between yourself and your mother? I have not. I'll have to look for that. Okay, just go under energetic divorce on Facebook and Jen Ward, and it'll pull it right up, and it's a whole protocol. And so what it is is she feels like she owns you. Yeah. You were enslaved to her, and she feels she was your slave owner in a past lifetime. So on some level, you feel like property to her, and you feel like prop- her property as well. Don't you feel like she's your slave owner on some level? Um, At this point, I think she's just crazy. I know it's past life stuff coming up. I just don't know how to handle it anymore. 
Um, you don't you know, have to handle gonna, it. Yeah. You, ha- you have mm-hmm. to do the work, though. You have to do the simple taps. Because you can talk about it till you're blue in your face, and that's not going to do anything. Except oh, I've well, it will well eventually it'll wear the energy out. But it's so exhausting for you and everybody around you. Do the taps. <laughs> okay, do this one tap with everybody because this is relevant for a lot of people. Happy Mother's Day. Here, do this one, okay? So you know mm-hmm. how to do the taps? Yeah. Okay, so do this tap. And everybody at home do this one. Even if you it's don't my, believe this on the surface, yeah. my do it head anyway. first. My head Three or times my chest first? on your head. Okay. I release hating my mother in all moments. I release hating my mother in all moments. Don't say it as a question. You say this to the universe in a strong, confident voice. You're not asking permission. You're mad. I release hating my mother in all moments. I release hating my mother in all moments. Pause. The, pause and before in all moments. There's a release there. You're trying to run through it like running over rice paper or or. or fiery coals. Say it slow and intentional. I release hating my mother in all moments. (laughs) Keep going. I release hating my mother in all moments. You're saying it as a question. Mm. Say it as a question. I release hating my mother in all moments. Can you not say it in a question? I didn't think I was anymore. There you are. (laughs) It's a sabotage. I release, on you. I release hating my mother in all moments. See, you can't even see that you are. And that you're mad. That way you can change your tone. It should go down. If, I release There's a little bit of an echo. Mother. I have to stop you guys. There's a little bit of an echo. There might be like the computer or radio on in either your Not my place. Yeah. Your place. Maybe it's um with Jessica, Jennifer. but there's a little bit of an echo. Okay. I lowered my volume, if that helps. That, okay. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Okay. All right. I release, I, release, I release hating my mother in all moments. Pause after mother. Do it I again. I release hating my mother in all moments. <laughs> Keep going. I release hating my mother in all moments. You can't hear that you're saying it is a question. Mm. Do it on your chest. Okay. I mean, I have, I really have done loads of energy work with this. I'm just like so tired of dealing with it. You, no, with you're her. not. You're just talking about it, and you haven't done the tap. If okay. if you were tired of it, you would do this correctly. So something in you does not want to let go yet. Okay. I release hating my Sorry mother. To be firm on you, but that's the truth of it. Okay. If you, could, if you wanted to let go of it, you could say it without saying it as a question, and you can't. Do it on the chest and try to say it without saying it as a question. I release hating my mother in all moments. Better. <laughs> so go on my page and do the whole protocol for energetic divorce, and you'll feel it, Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of energy there, so no, you. Ha- I'm, I'm sure you have done a lot of work on it, but it's not enough. It's not cleared. No way. And it's affecting you from doing what you love to do. Yeah, I know. It's it's just, yeah. I know, but it doesn't help to just l- lament over it. See, you, you don't understand that you're in this thick lamenting mode, and that's that's what I kind of strip off when I'm very harsh on people, is because you can't even see how you're stuck in molasses. Even though you say that you're done with it, you're still covered with molasses. So when I'm, I'm just very tired of doing with, all the healing work. I'm tired of doing all the healing work around it no, because this has been for you, over no, a year. No, I, I disagree with years. you. You're not doing the work. If unless you were doing the work, it would be. Go do the task and then contact me on Facebook. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. thanks, Jessica. You're on your way. You're there. You're on your way. <laughs> Jen's okay. gonna help you. Thank you for calling in. All right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 
I, I, I don't mean to be hard on people, but there's a difference between thinking that you want to be done with an experience and ready to be done with an experience. I can't, mm. I can't sit in, and wallow in people's issues with them. I can't sit about, I can't sit there and listen to every time you've been wronged. I just can't do it. There's so much that my body, my physical psyche can take, and I see. I see people raped, tortured, decapitated in their past lives every single, all the time. So to hear how, like, you know, they're being suffering in this moment when they're not really, it's in the past, it's too hard for this physical psyche to take. So I appreciate Mm -hmm. the people who don't send me all their issues anymore. They understand that that's not what I do. I'm not a dumping ground for issues. Nobody is. You don't need to listen to people's issues to help them. You just need to right. validate them and to shift their energy. It's mm. a new, it's you know, a new I can't, um, it, And, you know, it's really amazing to me because I've had so many different types of people on, on the show. Of course, you're, you're very unique, but people that have that intuitive ability – I'm always amazed at how much they they you know you feel things in in such a deep way that it has to be um you know it 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 has to have an effect on you doing this work um no, no. everybody's intuitive don't think that I'm special in that way everybody's intuitive this is people's more natural state is to be this empathetic It's all the layers and the shellacking they've put on, all the boundaries and borders they've put on themselves to survive that keep them from feeling. And that's what we pierce and crush so they can be intuitive. It's not a pain. It's not a burden to be intuitive. You're more connected to the love, so it's more freedom. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. Dove, it's a good thing. You do it. You do it when you speak to people and you validate them on your show. Oh. That's your joy. How could that be bad? No, that is about feeling the love. I just don't see dead people. <laughs> I don't see ghosts. I don't well, see people. I see them. They're, not, they're just suffering. <laughs> but it's it's images. It's It doesn't matter if you see it or not. You know people are suffering there. I mean, you can tell when someone's suffering. So yeah. whether you see it or not, this is for everybody. Why not treat them? Why not give them the benefit of the doubt and, and realize they have been tortured? They have been abandoned, rejected, and diminished to such a point that they're recoiled within themselves. Give them their benefit of the doubt and just love them and just tolerate them. For some people, lashing out at you is a huge step up in development for them. It, at least they have the courage to do so. So Mm -hmm. if you can handle it, why not? Let it brush off and stop taking it personally. It's their wounds that that are motivating their pain, and it has nothing to do with you. Stop taking everything personally and just let, let them open up so they can be vulnerable too and they can feel the love finally within themselves. Mm Mm-hmm. I like that way of thinking. And the next soul... It's the, shift. it's the shift that has to happen. People got to stop taking everything personally and, and them versus us and, and and seeing fear and hate and everybody. It's that's, not a competition, people. <laughs> it's all good. Exactly. Life is now, a... Want... Oh. 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 All right, so I was going to... 915... Two five three. You're on the air with Jen. What is your name and where are you calling from? My name is Nina, and I'm calling from Long Island, New York. Hi, Nina. Hi, Jen. I just first wanted to apologize. I um, was supposed to be on the call last week, but I just I don't know if I guess I wasn't ready or something, but um, I forgot, and so I apologize for taking your energy, but I'm so excited that I set like five alarms today to make sure that I, you know, was on the call with you. Oh, so, that's okay. You don't you. take my energy. I give okay. my energy freely. Nobody can take my energy. Right, I get right, mad right. at myself right. if I'm duped into like giving it freely when someone really isn't, you know, going to use it, but you didn't do that. 
Okay. No, not at all. I just, I, you know, I <clears throat> messaged you like I was going to be on the call, and then I wasn't on the call, and I heard you mention it's it, fine. so I just wanted to apologize. <laughs> but let me do um, a, a release for you, okay? Yes, please. <laughs> I know you want to tell me what you think you want to release. Can I give you a tip that I think will be good for you? Yeah, I really don't want to tell you anything. I'd rather you, you good. just go ahead. Do this tip. I really, and everybody at home can do this, too. I release feeling unworthy in all moments. I release, I release feeling unworthy in all moments. I release feeling unworthy in all moments. Uh, that's I that's your release... unworthy. No, nope. start over. Sorry? Just say it between yourself. Slow it down. Pause okay. after the word unworthy. I release feeling unworthy in all moments. I release feeling unworthy in all moments. I release feeling unworthy in all moments. Should I keep on my head? Do one on your chest. Okay. I release feeling unworthy in all moments. Okay, so there's a core issue, and I'm, it doesn't have to be in this lifetime, but I see an image of this. And so do this tap and see if this invokes any emotion in you, okay? Yes. I release the belief that my mama doesn't love me in all moments. I release the belief that my mama doesn't love me in all moments. <laughs> I release the belief that my mama doesn't love me in all moments. I release the belief that mama doesn't love me in all moments. I release the belief that mama doesn't love me in all moments. Good. One more for you. I release I release feeling abandoned in all moments. 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 Good. I want to give you. I love you. Thank you. I love you, and I see how beautiful you are. And you have seen spirit guys that just wrap their love around you. So when you're in your quiet times, just feel this love. You can feel my arms around you loving you, or you yeah. can, or you can feel a spirit guide around you, and just wrap your these loving souls that just love and adore you. Thank you. You and thank you. Wait, one more thing for her. Go back to you in baby form and pick up the baby form of you and love yourself as a baby and wrap yourself in that baby. And I'm going to pick up that baby right now and love that baby. Okay? Thank you. You're very welcome. I love you. Thank you, Nina, for calling in and thank thank you you for sharing that. Thank you. God bless you, Nina. You too. Thanks, Deb. Okay, we'll see you on Jen's Facebook page. Definitely. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Isn't that much more efficient than listening to someone's story is just cutting through to what they need and just getting through it? It's much more efficient. Yeah, you cut to the chase. I mean, I could feel the, you know, you can, it's just, you can feel the emotion. You can feel, like, you feel her tears, you feel her emotion, and it connects with, you know, things that, are are in my heart what the tap was for her. Um, so you are really, intuitive. You're admitting you're intuitive. Am I? Well, see, this is yeah. because I take your mastermind class, Jen. That's why. <laughs> no, everybody's intuitive. It's 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 just heart. It's it, you exist. You're intuitive. You love. You know your love. You know that there's something better than this than what this world is showing you on the news. You know it, and you demonstrate it to others. You do that. I see you doing that. <laughs> oh, we're having the global group hug going on. 
Thank exactly. you very much, Jen, for that. We're good. Mutual Admiration Society. We have another another person that wants to speak with you. Eight four three nine three four eight four three nine three four. You're on the air. Where are you calling from? And you're on the air with Jen. Eight four three. Nine three four, you are on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Jen and Ted. It's Nora. Hi. Who Hi, is Nora. It? How are you? Nora. Good. Yep, long time to no, no speak. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do you for? I, you know, I would love kind of the same thing to know what you are hearing and feeling. There's no, no specific topic in mind. Oh, okay. I know which Nora you are. You're a different Nora. I know who you are, right? It's yes, been a you while. Do. Okay. Yes, it has. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know how hard I've been on you in the past, right? Yes. <laughs> and you're you're kind of afraid of me. <laughs> Correct. Um. Yes. <laughs> There's no need to be afraid of me. There's no need to feel like you can't um, be with me. I would never, never not embrace you. I'll be really hard on you because you know energetically that you're very powerful and you use those powers a little bit to manipulate. You know that, right? Nora. Eight, did we lose her? I don't think so. She's uh, there. Is she there? Oh, just... Okay. So, Nora, the love that I have for you is still there, but I am going to be firm on you because you can handle it. And if you're using your energies in the wrong way, and they're not serving you, I'm going to let you know just because I have to speak truth. You're awesome, but you have to follow spiritual law, and and it's just part of it. There's specific spiritual laws that people have to follow. I'll do a release for you because you think I'm mad at you or being harsh on you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's going to talk to us, Deb. I, you can't hear me. Are you there? I am. No, I can not hear you at all. That's crazy. It might have been my thinking. fault. It I might have been crazy. something on the switchboard. Okay. So I apologize. Oh, good. I'm glad you're there, Nora. <laughs> Still here. So, so, so you're there, right? You yeah. can hear me. I can. I like your new relationship. Thank you. That's are you there? Great you, news. Are you, what? That's great news. <laughs> the only thing is, don't be a bully with him. Okay. Don't don't take his kindness and use it to get your own way and like like be like like so. Not that you are now haughty. Like, don't go to your girlfriends and say, oh, he did this for me, la, la, la. That's sacred. He loves you, and he adores you, and he does those things for you. And don't desecrate that by going back to your girlfriends and saying, oh, he did this for me, and whatever. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Okay, don't do that. Because that's going to run a relationship in the ground. And now that you're going to do, because you're in this forever with this guy, the long term for with this guy, but don't run it to the ground. Don't desecrate it by by um, giving it out to everybody else and, and making light of his gifts. When he lets you have your way, that's a kindness. You should honor that and give a kindness back. Not go to your girlfriends and talk about how easy it was to get over on him or how good he was or whatever. That's you compensating for something else. Don't do that. It's not worth it. You won't get the payoff you want. And you know you know, you can trust me on that, right? Yes, I do. 
Okay, good. I'm glad I got to talk to you and tell you that because he's a real sweetheart. And I know he's not perfect, and, and he gets to be a little bear once in a while, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Like it, kind of. All right? Thank you. Both. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This is good. This is so good. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, 585754, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, where are you calling from and what's your name? You're with Jen. Am I having switchboard issues here today? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. It's the solar flares. 585754. Okay. The energy work does that, you know. It does throw the phones off sometimes. Isn't that, like, really, that's so... That's so bizarre. Okay, let's try seven six zero two two one seven six zero two two one. You're on the air. <laughs> oh my goodness! You're making me Hello? up. Okay, Hello? that's like really bizarre. How about three one zero six five eight? Are you there? Can you hear us? Because you're on the air. Phone number three one zero six five eight. Jen. No, I get this all the time in my energy work. I'm not. I'm I've got all these not... callers on the switchboard. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's see. Let's try three zero three four eight four. Are you are you there? The area code three zero three. Here, I was just listening. <laughs> yeah, but, uh... what's happening? I'm like, okay, I know I'm working the switchboard. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> What is your name and where are you calling from? Where's 303? Um, I'm Randy. I'm from Colorado. Oh, wow. Hey, Randy. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. <laughs> are you scared to talk to me? I'm not. I actually just kind of got on, so I hope I'm not scared to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you I like to be scared? <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you have horses? Excuse me? Do you have horses or something? That, this, you're the third psychic that said something about horses. Yesterday, someone said a, it was a past life. Okay. Uh, so I don't know. Horses? I don't know anything about horses. <laughs> That's I weird. I call myself a psychic, but, you know, I understand other people do. I Somebody just said a- horses. A few people said horses around me, but I don't have horses. I would love to have horses. <laughs> But maybe you, in my past you, life I had a horse. <laughs> are you so you live in Colorado? Yes. Okay, I I do you live in the um in the suburbs or the country a little bit? Oh, nice. No, do are you, you live in me the, or you live there? No, do you live in the country? Oh. Um no. Well, I live in Boulder. Do you know do you know Colorado? No, I don't. I just oh. want to know. You not live in really. A- so it's not really in the mountains. I have, you know. You just do yes or no questions. You're, you're trying to, you, you, you're distracting me with your hums and everything. Just yes or no. Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. So what I'm getting at is the property that you live on used to be a horse farm. And there's a lot of horse energy there. Wow. Cool. Yeah, it's cool, but do you mind if I help them cross? Because they're not, they're not, they're asking for something. And they, they see energy in you, and they want they want that attention or whatever, and they're not getting it. It's almost like they've been abandoned. Aww. And they, and they want to be ridden and loved and everything, but they're not being. So they feel like they're wondering where their owner is. You know, and all this. I wouldn't be surprised if if there were horses that died there and were neglected. Oh, that's, that's what so it said. <laughs> yeah. And they're reaching out to you, but you're not hearing them. Okay? So do you mind? I'm going to use you to free these souls, okay? Ah. Yeah. All right. 
Oh, so there used to be a farm around there. I don't know how long ago. And they used to break horses there. And they were really cruel in their breaking practices. And they would, like, tie them up and they would, like, hit them with the whips and they would get barbs in their back. And it wasn't just about breaking those horses. They broke the whole wild, what's a group of wild horses called? A pack? I don't know. <laughs> a herd. Maybe a herd. A herd. A herd of horses? Yeah, so they were, they were breaking down the whole herd. And they, mm, 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 mm. is that something that happened in, in Colorado's history? There used to be wild horses there. They must have been right. Well, there are farms all around here. Okay. Not exactly where I am, but there's. Okay, okay don't give me, please. Sorry. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I don't mean to be harsh, but I'm trying to help these horses right now. Can you do a tap with me? Sure. And can everybody help in this? <laughs> they want to go back to their pack. They want to go back to their herd. <laughs> so the tap is, I free the wild horses in all moments. I free the wild horses in all moments. So you say that we'll tap in three times on your head and then say the fourth time we'll tap it on your chest. I free the wild horses in all moments. I free the no, wild horses. No, no, slow it down. Say it with intention. I free the wild horses, pause, in all moments. And then do it again, slow and deliberately. I free the wild horses in all moments. <laughs> I free the wild horses in all moments. Good, good, good job. Keep going. Free the wild horses in all moments. Good. <laughs> now on your chest. I free the wild horses in all moments. <laughs> I free the wild horses in all moments. Only once on the chest. You're good. You did great. <laughs> now, when you open yourself, it's not always warm and fuzzy because this is a very lot of pain, but it's stagnant energy that's been trapped in that area. And you might notice when you go out to your home or around there that it might feel lighter in doing this. Hmm. Amazing. And that's what... I'm sorry, what? It's amazing. It's amazing. That you felt it, right? Yeah, I don't know if I felt it, but I know that you must be onto something because you're the third person that said something about horses. So I think that's pretty incredible. Well, I, to be honest with you, I trust your instincts more than, you know, hearsay about other people. Mm-hmm. Your truth is just as real to me as anything else. So if it, you got a sense that it was right, and when you were doing those, I got a sense that you were feeling the truth of it. Mm-hmm. That's more valid to me than someone at hearsay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so maybe I'll put tabs on my page later today or tomorrow about helping the horses, okay? Aww. And look for them, Beautiful. and then you can do them. And other people will do them because <laughs> it's it's really horrific what what humans have done to other species because they feel they're the superior being. Mm. They remove themselves from the pain of another being by saying that they're superior. It's what happens when they're in survival mode. When someone's in survival mode, it's all bets off because they have to survive. What's happened to humans is they stayed in that stuck mentality of survival mode. And they've made so many beings suffer because of that stuck mode. So can you do this tab with me? Sure. I release being stuck in survival mode in all moments. Not that you are personally, but you're helping others. Okay. 
Okay. I release being stuck in survival mode in all moments. I release being stuck in survival mode in all moments. <laughs> Keep going. Am I doing this on my head? <laughs> Tapping on my head? Yes. Okay, I release being stuck. In survival mode. Survival mode in all moments. One more time on the head. I release being stuck in survival mode in all moments. Awesome. Now on your chest. I release being stuck in survival mode in all moments. Take a deep breath. Yeah, they got you tired a little bit, didn't it? A little bit, maybe. Okay. That might be me, because every time I do these taps, I always feel like I ran a marathon. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> like, oh. I think you're building up endurance, though, Deb. It seems like you're doing you really think? great. Yeah. Yeah. It was that oh. mastermind um, Yeah, I tell you, that mastermind class. And I just want people to know, it's a lot. It is a lot of work, but... It's amazing. It really is amazing. I uh, just I highly recommend it. It's eight weeks, but wow! It'll, it's well, there's really going to be audios are, of that of that class are going to be up in the store next week. Perhaps. Oh, they are! Wow! All right, yeah. so <laughs> that's that's a perfect segue. So, people, if you want to get that, the new store, go to genuinehealing.com. Go to the right-hand side on the bar, and you'll see new store is up. And Jen has a link right there. It's store.genuinehealing.com. And then the Facebook page link is right there. And you put on the daily tab. So if, if Randy, are you already on the Facebook page with Jen on that in the group? No. Oh, oh. Randy, you, yeah, you, you got to go there. there. you got to be part of it. <laughs> Okay. You've got to get used to the taps because I know that they're not comfortable for you yet and, and you're thinking, what the freak is going on? But that's okay. You'll get used to it in your own time if you do taps that that um, seem to relate to you. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yep. Thank you so much. This is pretty amazing. It is uh, amazing. And, Randy, so are you. So I'm glad. So I'll see you over there, Randy, on Jen's Facebook page. And then check well, out probably be my husband. In. I don't have a Facebook Randy, page. If you get a chance, visit some <laughs> That's horses. Okay. Randy, if you get a chance, visit some horses at a farm. Bring them some, some peppermint and some apples, okay? Okay, peppermint and apples. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow. Fascinating. So her bringing the, so her bringing the um, horses, peppermint and apples, is a way to bring this release that we did for all those horses to the physical. Wow. It's a way to solidify it. I hope she follows through and does that. I'm if sure not, she people, will. If if people are out there listening and they have access to horses, please give them peppermint and apples after we did that release because that will help. You know, it's interesting that you bring up the horses because just yesterday I – saw on somebody's Facebook page, I don't know, it was a video of a horse, and this woman had to, she sold the horse, brought the horse back, and the video was how the horses remembered each other, and to see the way they interacted with the love and the touching each other with the heads, and they were rolling around, it was, it was a tearjerker, these horses, and I just saw that video yesterday, maybe the day before. You know why it's a tearjerker? Because just knowing how aware they are, it's like two people, two people being reunited. It's no different. So the tearjerker is all the the horrific things we have done to horses and and 
animals of all kind and nature and trees. We've done this. That's why it's a tearjerker because it it makes us recognize at some level what we have done, what horrific acts we have done against humanity. Wow. So the healing, it's good because all all that healing, it's it's good for all of us that the one tap for one is the tap for all. Um, right. So do you want? Let me try this eight four. We're going to try eight four three nine three four again. See if it goes through. Are you there? Because you're on the air. It would be area code eight four three nine three four. Yes, Deb. I can hear you. It's Nora again. Okay, all right, but that's, it's Nora again. Okay, I'm sorry. I need the switchboard on the one. But, Nora, it's always good to recycle the happiness to hear the beautiful frequency of the sound of your voice. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Let's see, who did I have then? I had 310. Okay, maybe I hit the wrong button. 415-894. You're on the air. Greetings, Deb. This is Richard. Hi, Jen. I'm in Northern California. Hi, Richard. How are you? Hi, Richard. <laughs> you two are just a party waiting to happen, or actually happening now. It's it's great. Exactly. Uh, um, I don't know. I'd, I, I could talk about all sorts of stuff, but I'd rather have you just look at me or feel me or hear me and see what you think. All right, let me do let me do my noises for you. I, I get a sense, but let me. <laughs> you're you're really deep hearted, and you're really a deep soul. But you're trepid. You you like trepid about it on the physical because you don't want to give away your hand, kinda. Does that sound like you? <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> so you don't like people to know how deep you are. But the problem is, not problem, but the thing is with you is you're always testing people. And they don't know they're being tested. You're always gauging, and you're always lining up what they do with what they say and make sure they align with integrity. Because you don't want to be bothered with people who aren't in- integral. Correct. Correct. It's a lot of work. And and you have this ache to be yeah, for for that truth, for that inner inner sacred space and it's painful to see such um bastardization of humanity out here. It's almost too much to bear. But you keep going with little baby steps, and you just keep plugging along with your own spiritual journey. And (laughs) who's the gossipy lady? You have a gossipy neighbor or something? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tolerate. Her energy... Her energy, I don't know if you have boundaries between your homes or not, because it seems like she gets in your space and it irritates you and you don't know how to get her out of your space sometimes. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, pardon me. Yes. Okay, so yeah. so there's a skin on the, a person's energy field. It's called their Wei Qi. Mm-hmm. So... So we're going to, like, repair yours. And it's not only on your physical body. You have an emotional body and a um, past experience body and a mental body. And those all align like little Russian dolls, kind of, within yourself. So we're going to repair all those layers for you because there's something about her tone of her voice and the way she asks a question sneaky. It's just really irritating. And sometimes when you let your guard down... Because you, you're a nice person, so you let your guard down and you think she's it's okay to talk to her, she gets in, and then it makes you angry, right? Yes. Okay, so you're going to do this tap. You know how to do the taps now, right? Yes. I repair and fortify the Wei Qi 
of all my bodies in all moments. You want me to feed it to you in two parts? Please. I repair and fortify the Wei Qi. I repair and fortify the Wei Qi. On all my bodies. <laughs> on all my bodies. In all moments. In all moments. <laughs> I repair and fortify the Wei Qi. I repair and fortify the Wei Qi. On all my bodies. On all my bodies. In all moments. In all moments. <laughs> I repair and fortify the Wei Chi. I repair and fortify the Wei Chi. On all my bodies. In all moments. On all my bodies. In all moments. <laughs> now do it on your chest. I repair and fortify the Wei Chi. I repair and fortify the Wei Chi. On all my bodies. On all my bodies. In all moments. In all moments. <laughs> Are you sensitive to energy, Richard? Can you get a sense of this as we do this? Yes, I can. Very. <laughs> very much so. It's it's almost like you had cracks in in one of your layers and we're repairing them <laughs> now are you musical or you used to be musical and you're not doing it um i work in audio a lot uh n not re i was in a marching band but i was not re i was a drummer i was not a musician per se but is there something about music that you'd like to be the doer and you're not doing Oh, that drumming thing. Uh, Why, well, yes. I'd love to learn how to play the tabla or some sort of hand-to-skin instrument. Yeah, I think that'll be really, really important to you. Because, um, don't take this personally, Richard, mm -hmm. but there's a little part of your energy field that's dry. And it's dry because you're not partaking in the music yourself. You don't have mm -hmm. to just watch, help everybody else's music. That seems to be like a martyr thing in a way. So okay. do this tip. Since you're since you're sensitive to energy, are you on my page? You should be on my page if you're not. I will be after this show. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you took a vow of martyrdom in a past lifetime. Mm -hmm. That's why you do audio for others and you're not doing the music yourself. It's a way of punishing yourself or being that spiritual. component. Mm -hmm. I recant watch as you do this one. I recant my vow of martyrdom in all moments. I, re I recant my vow of martyrdom in all moments. <laughs> do it three times on the head and once on the chest. I recant my vow of martyrdom in all moments. <laughs> oh, you're feeling it, right? Yes. <laughs> I recant my vow of martyrdom in all moments. <laughs> now on your chest. I recant my vow of martyrdom in all moments. Okay, I have to help you with one more thing. Did Do you resonate with Buddhism? Uh, pardon, what was the last word? Do you resonate with Buddhism at all? I do. Okay, so I good. Do. There's a tap that you have to do. There's a sect of Buddhism, and I don't know. I'm not, you know, I'm not versed in Buddhism, so people don't get mad at me for, for desecrating, because I don't mean to. But there's a vow that they take to not transcend till all sentient beings have transcended. You've been mm. a spiritual. Yeah. Okay. Good. You've been a spiritual <laughs> being in so many lives. So how do you stay here? Is by burdening yourself with issues and stuff. You could transcend, mm. but you made a vow to not transcend. That's why you keep spinning your wheels. That's the only reason you're doing it. Life isn't doing this to you. You took the vow. Oy. You want to undo it? <laughs> yes, please. I recant my vow to not transcend in all moments. I recant my vow to not ascend in all no, no, moments. No, no, no. 
no, no, uh, not, no. Transcend because you're going to stay in the body. Oh, excuse me. You don't have to transcend. wait till you cross Got over. It. That's kind of what ascend means. You want to okay. transcend. Right, you want okay. to do it now. Can you okay? say that one more time? Yes. I recant my vow to not transcend in all moments. I, re- I recant my vow to not transcend in all moments. <laughs> Keep going. I recant mm. my vow to not transcend mm. in all moments. Mm. Mm. I recant my vow mm. to not transcend mm. in all moments. Mm. Now you trust. Mm. I recant my mm. vow to not transcend mm. in all moments. Mm. Those two tasks in themselves for you, Richard are life changers. Yes. You've, you've been wondering, you've been asking, because you're very spiritual, you've been asking what the freak is going on. <laughs> and you're not an angry person, but it almost had to register as frustration because it was like it didn't make sense to you. You mm-hmm. didn't have the whole story. Yes. You almost yeah. have to transcend every path to 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 be empowered because... Every path was made to to rally everyone up in a herd mentality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so since you feel the tap, do you feel more free and open inwardly from that? Boy, howdy. Yeah. So go on my page, and I put tabs like that every single day, Richard. And awesome. so. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to love them. And then if you join the group sessions, there's one tomorrow morning, you would freaking, I think it would just blow your mind because you're, like, really right there. And you've been looking, you've been asking the universe for what the freak you wanted something, the a next step, right? Yes. Because the thing about you is that you can sniff a bullshitter from a mile away. So you can tell when someone's not truthful or they're coming from ego, correct? Yes. And you don't see that in myself, correct? No. Okay, thank you. So that's the difference is I'm not coming from ego. I'm really here to help, and I'm not here to mass large quantities of money or to to create a new order of people who worship me. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so, so the new order of the yes. <laughs> the future is taking your taking your power back from all these groups, and I have a protocol on there where you can take all your power back from Buddhism, from governments, everything, and then you'll feel you'll feel like empowered, and you'll be like doing the music because you'll be compelled to do the music. Wonderful. I feel different. Yeah. I mean, I feel I feel physically different now. Your voice so is I'm... even different. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I can hear it in your voice, Richard, really. Yeah, it's, it's not yeah, dry you. anymore, Richard, nothing personal. But there was this dryness in your, because it was that that issue. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I feel it. I feel, I feel it all to be true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're feeling the transformation with you. I know that those were good taps. I en- I enjoyed those taps too. So thank you, Richard, for calling in because you Jen. helped. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Jim. Very and much. Okay. Thank okay. you for the love. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Richard. Bye. Bye, Richard. Uh, See you soon. <laughs> oh my goodness. See you soon. All right. Well, we've gone way over time. I've absolutely loved, loved, loved all of it. I hope everybody else has as well, and I'm going to ask everybody to share the show with a friend. You can just put it on Facebook or Twitter. But, Jen, how can people tell, you mentioned this about tomorrow morning. Let's, if people that want um, more Feel in the Love Healing, what's going on tomorrow, and how can people join, and how can people sign up for sessions and groups and mastermind classes and all of that? So here's the thing. A, ses- a private session with me is 150 something dollars, which seems mm-hmm. like a lot of money, but that's the amount that's a reciprocation for what you're going to receive. 
and a lot of people can't do that. So I've made these group sessions where people get on the calls, and we do them three times a week. We do them Tuesday nights, Thursday nights at 8 o'clock, and then Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. And, Say that um, again slowly. <laughs> Tuesday that nights fast at, for me. Tuesday nights at 8 a.m. at 8 p.m. Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Thursday nights at 8 p.m. and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Okay. So you, so you can buy like just one session, which is twenty seven dollars, or you can get a whole month of all these classes. It's like giving it away for $127, which is less than one session with me. So okay. So I'm doing this because there's synergy in a group consciousness. The people on the call, they're not dumping, they're not unloading on each other. They're just sharing the love and using their highest quality and highest love to help each other. It's a It's a wonderful dynamic um, expression of empowerment. Mm. The so, other thing I want to encourage people to do, and I think this is a great way of uh, keeping in touch because we all, you know, get so busy. It's nice to get one of your newsletters that says, hey, this is going on tomorrow or this is going on tonight. So I'm going to encourage people when they go to your website, GenuineHealing.com, Genuine, J-E-N-U-I-N-E, Healing.com. When you go to the right-hand side, you see the new store is up and you keep scrolling down and you'll see our Facebook page right there on the right. And then right below that is subscribe to our newsletter. What I would tell people to do is subscribe to your newsletter because you're really good about getting information out and keeping people informed. And uh, I do that, Yeah, and I do that on Facebook, too, automatically on Facebook, too. Yeah. So if you're not friends with me on Facebook, you're welcome to, to follow or join me on Facebook, either under Jen yep. Ward or Genuine Healing with a J. Yep. So www.facebook.com forward slash Jen Ward, J E N W A R D, or Genuine J E N U I N E Healing. And um, and then you'll see Jen there. And that's a very active, active page. And I belong to both. And Jen, I tell you, the more I know you, the more I love you. And I know that you're helping thousands of people around the globe. And it's just been a great privilege and a lot of fun. Um, to have you sharing your shine with us again. It's, they're always so popular, and I know that there's more people, but, you know, there's more people on the switchboard and people we didn't get to, but that's okay because we can yeah. all meet over on your page and, and get a healing session. Any other final word uh, for people before we well, do the are, outro music? People, People are getting their needs met, and... Don't diminish what you're doing because I really appreciate you doing these radio shows. I oh. mean, this is huge for people to have this. So you, I hope you're getting blessed in your life right and left for being so open and, and going out of your comfort zone to do this. So you're amazing. And people should buy your book, which is, <laughs> what's your book? The sky is green and the grass is blue. It's yeah, turning that upside down stuff. That. Right set up. Thank you so much. Just oh because my goodness. You're so All right. awesome. Well, thank you, Jen, and you've helped me so much, and everybody is such a blessing. So I know we all help each other. The little blog talk radio lady is telling me that we're totally out of time. So go connect with Jen and connect with me, too, if you would like at debscott.com. Thank you. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you soon. Lots of love and blessings. Thank you for listening Thanks. to the Best People We Know radio show with your host, Deb Scott. For more on Deb and her guests, plus her award-winning guidebook to transformation, The Sky is Green and the Grass is Blue, Turning Your Upside-Down World Right Side Up, go to Deb's website, greenskyandbluegrass.com. You can also connect with Deb for coaching or speaking, and sign up for Deb's free Mind Vitamin newsletter while you're there. So now, you're one step closer today to your greatness. We look forward to being with you next time on the Best People We Know radio show.